state of Karnataka over the last four months, uh, hurting the state. First, it was the Bitcoin chief, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, it was uh, Kiran Majumdar Shah who had uh, flagged up the communal exclusion when Muslim vendors were kept out of temple fairs. Now a neighboring state that has also jumped in. It is the Telangana IT Minister KT Rama Rao, while speaking to prominent entrepreneurs, asked him about the business and the promises that can be given to Telangana people, saying that it would be inclusive and the growth of social infrastructure is something that they will also be looking into it. But the insinuation was quite clear as far as the state, which is known as the IT hub, has now fallen victim to divisive agenda. Absolutely. And the controversy is bad for business in the state. In fact, Telangana minister has pretty much summed up what seems like a business mantra when he said that let's focus on IT and BT, not halal and hijab. And naturally, that gave all parties enough ammunition to again accuse the BJ of destroying the state's reputation for the sake of its politics. Listen into some reactions. Is the current face-off over halal, hijab, other issues actually denting the image of Karnataka as an investment destination? Joining us now is somebody who actually is in charge of the IT uh, portfolio, among other things. Uh, Mr. C.N. Ashwat Narayan, thank you very much for speaking to us. Is business leaving Karnataka because it's more about halal hijab than ITBT? Uh, Padmaja, to be very frank with you, see, there's nothing new what we are trying to do here. With regard to the hijab, it is, you know, in the year 1995 itself, the uniform was prescribed in the schools. It is not in the public space. Since the uniform was prescribed, it was made mandatory and respective school, schools have been you know adapting the same and it has been continued unnecessarily now you know more and more importance has been given to this issue there's nothing new this is very well you know accepted norm in the state of karnataka there is no issue with regard to this many other states also even maharashtra had the same issue kerala had the same issue and it has come out very clear see whatever land of the law of the land has been you know uh, been prescribed the same thing has been adapted and we are with the, in the same lines. Nothing okay, more we are trying to in do hijab, here. In hijab, the Karnataka and High Court may have ruled. All other issues are halal. Do you really think that halal, whether it should be there, yes. whether people Karnataka. should be allowed to sell it, that is something that the IT capital of the country needs to be debated? See, we are not trying to debate. It's a social discussion. See, with regard to the social discussion, the people who, who is going to consume the meat, Either they need to buy halal meat or something, you know, jetka meat. It is left to the choice of the people. We can't force people to eat, you know, halal meat. It's nothing like that. Halal has been accepted, very well accepted among the Muslim community. Why should the same be accepted by others? It is left to the choice of the people. We are not prescribing it from the government. Who should eat what meat? We are not, we are not mentioning that. We are not talking about that. It is a social discussion in a democracy. People have got the right to, you know, talk about it and there it is their choice to select and use what they want but in a democracy in Chikmangalur in Shivmoga you cannot have people forcing Muslim vendors to shut down their shops or saying that in front of Jhatka shops there'll be saffron flag in front of halal shops there'll be other flags that is not how a democracy works and the argument being made is it's exactly this kind of image that Karnataka is getting now of being regressive rather than progressive No, no, definitely, time and again, Karnataka has got a fantastic culture. See, you can't see any other place that kind of tolerance, respect for diversity, for all languages, for all culture, and we respect, we allow each and every person. You can't see anywhere in the world, probably anywhere in the country. Karnataka, per se, we have got that, you know, the utmost respect for each and every culture. And we have got nothing again. See, if offering and the people, you know, we will not, we will ensure that the people, whoever wants to sell halal meat, very well, they will be allowed without any discrimination, without any obstruction. Uh, nothing will come in their way. They are free to open, they are free to do their business. 
So as a minister, is, would you advise you all members of the VHP the, the of the people. Bajrang Dal to just lay off and stop the harassment and violence that we have seen? People were beaten up. Muslim vendors were beaten up. No, I'll tell you very clearly, there will not be any question of, you know, beating up any person or taking law into the hand and there will not be any harassment. They'll be free today, they'll do their business and nothing will come in their way. And we'll ensure that the peace of the land has been, you know, given the topmost priority and we'll allow people who want to say, uh, sell the halal meat, they're free to do that. And at the same time, somebody else who want to have jetka meat, they're allowed to take it. We'll, we'll encourage that. Now, earlier Kiran Majumdar Shaw raised concerns about there would be exclusionary politics. And now, of course, uh, Mr. KTR has said, uh, while responding to one businessman, I'm, of course you've seen it, where he said that we have three eyes, innovation, infrastructure, and inclusive growth. I think that is key, where they say inclusive growth, obviously remarking on the kind of controversy that Karnataka has seen in the recent past. Is Karnataka not giving inclusive growth? Definitely, KTR time and again is into publicity stunts. He keeps doing that very often. And he doesn't even have the basic courtesy to respect his own neighboring state. He makes unwanted statement, pack up the bags, come to Hyderabad. Is it the way to do things, you know? Is it the way to, you know, make a statement? Basically, he doesn't have even a courtesy what kind of statement should be made. And he doesn't have the capacity to perform and show his government performance, not making this kind of state. Nothing is going to make a difference. He has been making this kind of statement time and again, which is not appreciated. I think this is not the way forward. And if he has got capacity, if he has got the ability, let him attract. We are not coming in his way. We are not making a dirty statement like him. We will not make dirty statement like him. We will compete. We are not telling we are competing with our neighbor state. We are telling we are competing with the entire world and we want to be the best place in the entire world and you know time and again Karnataka and Bengaluru it is the topmost destination in the entire country there is no other city like Bengaluru there is no competition for Bengaluru Bengaluru will always stay and remain as the most futuristic city and more progressive city and forward looking city mm, but have has any industrialists come to you worried that there is a lot of disharmony and this is this may impact their business? No, not at all, not at all. You see, in Karnataka, whatever statements, criticism, if it is made by any person, we welcome it. We don't even, you know, counter it. We don't never counter it. We call him, we call him for an AT, we talk to him. See, in Karnataka, most of our chief minister, time and again, whenever there is a concern, whenever there is a suggestion, whenever there is a criticism done by any particular industrialist, they will be called and talk. They will call them for the talk. They will have a discussion. They will respect their opinion, their suggestion. We work very closely with the industry. This is the only state where you can see this kind of cordiality, respect respect for entrepreneurs, respect for industrialists. If it's the same statement, what has been made in Karnataka, in any of our neighboring states, they'll be made a mincemate. Mm. You know what they do with them? They don't respect criticism. They don't respect democracy. They only respect autocracy. In state of Karnataka, we don't have all these things. We live with democracy. We respect democracy. We respect criticism. We accept criticism and see how best we can do things. Even if there are some problems, we are willing to set it right. Not, not, nothing to, we, you can see, you can't see anywhere else.